Hi, and uh, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And today we're going to take a look at this little radio from Aelens, the Aelens HD1. Um, Rotivis was kind enough to send me this radio free of charge for me to make a couple of videos on it. Uh, however, I still have to pay income tax, sales tax and import fees on it. So it's by no way completely free for me. That being said though, I really like this radio. I'm going to conclude in a later video. Today we're going to look at how to program it and uh, how easy it is. I've already done a little bit of programming, but um, we're going to go ahead and try to add a repeater, a DMR repeater, an analog repeater, and add a couple of talk groups to that. So uh, with no further ado, let's jump into the CPS software and see how that works. So we got the software here and the radio is plugged in. And the first thing we want to do, though, is check the COM port here. And uh, if you don't know how to check your COM port, you use your device manager in Windows. I've already covered that in several other videos, and there are a lot of videos covering that. But use your device manager, look for the serial ports, and find the correct port. Uh, this is plugged into COM port 4, so we're good here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to read from the radio. This little box pops up uh, if I want to continue to read data from the radio. And uh, yeah, of course, I want to do that. That's why I'm doing this. And then it starts reading. Sometimes this goes pretty fast along. Other times it takes a little while. And we're done. When you're done with that, this little box pops up where it says read OK. So let's see what's on the radio, though. There's a little bit of, uh, first of all, there's a basic setting menu. So let's take a look at that. You have some basic information about uh, the serial number and such. Uh, you have a settings tab where you can set the different settings regarding squelch regarding languages and uh, all those kind of things. You can also set a password here. My recommendation is not doing that because at some point you're gonna forget your password. And uh, that's not gonna be good at all. You can also set your mic gain in here. I haven't touched the mic gain. As far as I can see, the mic gain is good. You can also change all of these settings in the radio if you should do it wrong though. So let's just close this window now. There's a key setting for the function keys on the side of the radio here where you can set different settings for it. I've just set, uh, set a scan setting and uh, I've set the power switch settings for the side keys. There's a one key call where you can use one of the keys to, to dial up a user or talker or anything. That's not too relevant for amateur radio use, so we'll just leave the, that alone. And then your ID setting. And as you can see, you can have several radio IDs here and you can edit uh, or you can change those within the radio while using it. So let's say you have more than one ham in your family. You can add different radio IDs here and uh, you can still keep it as your radio by just changing the ID. That's the first time I've ever seen that on a radio. And that's that's a really good thing, actually. Um, not that there are more than one ham in my family, but... Uh, for some of you guys, that might be relevant though. Then we have the channel tab here, and this is where you keep your channels. As you can see, I've just simply added a couple of uh, digital channels here to my hotspot and an analog channel. We're gonna go through that later on. Um, I'm just gonna go through the menus here first. Further on, you have your zone information, and that's where you can set your zones. I've made two zones as of now. I'm in analog zone and a hotspot zone. Uh, those are the two zones I got right now. I'm going to add a third one because I'm going to add a DMR repeater while we're talking here and uh, put that up. So um, we'll, we'll add some more here after a while. Yeah, the radio tab, that's for your FM radio. That's not relevant for me, so I'm going to skip that. And then you have the contact tab here. The priority contacts is your talk groups. You put them in as a, a priority contact. And the address book contact, 
those are the contacts you add to the address book. And you can download contacts from, let's say, radioid.net or any other place and uh, add those. So you can have full DMR database in here. You can import them. Uh, you can read them from the radio, write them to the radio. We're going to leave this alone because this takes a lot of time to do. Uh, but it's as simple as downloading the CSV file from one of those online services that has the contact books and uh, just write them to the radio. And you only need to do that once. Then you have your receive groups. I'm not really sure if you have to do this in the radio, but I've done that. I've made receive groups for every talk group, so I can add the receive group to that in the channels. We'll have a look at that when we set the radio up. And then you have the DMR service tab here, which has an encryption menu. Uh, as a ham, stay away from that. That, that's a quick overview. Uh, let's go ahead and program in a channel or two. And let's start with an analog channel because that's the easiest to program here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put it in number 11 here. And I'm going to show you that you can edit, edit where it happens to be, though. Uh, so we're not going to leave it at 11. Uh, it's going to be at number two. I'll keep the analog channels first. I'm going to add a repeater in a town called Horton, which is really close to where I work, though. So uh, that'll be good to have here. And uh, that's got one, four, five, dot six, two, five. And we can just press these arrows here and we're going to get a pop up here. And that's going to be an analog channel. Transmit power is going to be high as of default. And I like to call the repeaters by their city and not their call sign. It makes it so much easier to find out. And if you heard the cat in the background, you're perfectly right about that. Then you got to add the transmit frequency and it's 600 K down. So uh, that's going to be 145.025. Uh, I'm going to add it to a scan list. Bandwidth as, as in region one, it's going to be 12 and a half kilohertz. I'm going to allow transmit. And you see all the digital things here. They're grayed out. So let's close this window. And we got it right here. Then we're going to mark this line here and we're going to press up. You see it moves up in the list. Now it's in spot number two, but we actually forgot one thing here when we added the repeater because we're going to add a tone here and that repeater's got 74.4 and we're good with a tone. So that's an analog repeater added. Let's go ahead and add a digital one as well. For that, we're going to do channel and now for the digital channel here and uh, we're going to add some uh, talk groups on a local repeater and uh, just let me find the frequency for that repeater here. See that is 434.8100. And let's just press the arrows here to get into the menu and give this a good name. And so we're going to add talk group 242, which is the Norwegian talk group. And uh, then just a little bit of information about the uh, repeater as well. We're going to leave it on high transmit power. And it's going to be 2 megahertz down, so that's going to be 432.8125. And uh, we're going to keep the receive group list as uh, receive group 242. It's uh, slot 1. When you add repeaters, you have to check which slot the talk group is. We're not going to have any encryption. Uh, ID is going to be my ID. And the contact is going to be 242 for that. And that's it. We're good with that one. Uh, or we're not actually. Because we got to add something more here. Yeah, uh, we got the color code one. So that's that's good. 
So uh, that's it for that. Let's add another one just to demonstrate here. It's the same repeater, so 434.8125. And we'll just press the double arrows here to do the same here. And let's add talk group 91 here. We're gonna do the same changes, 432.8125. Talk group here is going to be talk group 91. Uh, the receive group is going to be talk group 91. And that's going to be in color code one, but it's going to be in slot two on the Norwegian Brandmeister repeaters. As I said, you got to check this with your repeater, which talk groups are on which time slot. So we're good with that. We're going to do that. So we've made, we've added one analog channel and two digital channels here. What we're going to do now is we're going to add another zone here. So let's close this window, go to the zone tab, and we're going to add a zone here. We're going to call that Brandmeister and then side. Then we're going to add a couple of channels to that. We're going to add the two for two channel and we're gonna add the 91 channel here. So our two channels are added to the uh, zone here. So we got a zone for this repeater. How you wanna set up the zones, that's a little bit up to you, but that's this is the way I like to do this. I like to group the repeaters as zones. Uh, I find that the easiest way to do that. We're also gonna do another zone thing because we got another analog uh, station here. So we're going to click the analog uh, zone and we're going to add the other analog repeater to that. So that's our changes to the setup. Let's write that to the radio. We get the same pop-up if we wish to write to the radio. We're going to click OK and it starts writing to the radio. And when we're done, the write OK comes up. Just press OK and we are done. And that's actually it. That is how easy it is to program the Alens HD1. And I gotta say, I've programmed a lot of different DMR radios from really easy ones to really complex ones to program. And this is probably one of the easiest radios I've programmed, except for perhaps uh, OpenGD77 programming, which is a lot easier than this. But for stock DMR radios, this is the easiest DMR radio I've ever programmed. And that's it for today. Please do remember to like and subscribe if you want to do that. And uh, if you want to support the channel a little bit, there are a couple of ways down below to do that. And until next time, 7-3 and thank you for watching.